Most people love a parade, especially the Southside Irish Parade. And it's not that far away. In fact, it's only two weeks from now. Fun times are almost here. We are about to learn this year's Grand Marshal. Uh, Marianne Rowan Leslie is the chair of the parade and joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. I hear a drum roll somewhere, so let's get right to this. Tell us who the Grand Marshal is going to be. We are very proud to say that the Grand Marshals are the ministries the chaplain ministries of the Chicago Police Department and the Chicago Fire Department. Oh. Uh, Father Daniel Brandt from the Chicago Pol Police Department and Father Bill McFarlane from the Fire Department will be our Grand Marshals. And what do they do? And our can honoree, you, go ahead. Can you tell us what they do, like what that role entails? Yes, they minister to police and fire personnel on a daily basis, over 10,000 employees, obviously, and their families as well. Um, they attend roll call, they're out on the sites, they, they really are in the trenches with the police and fire personnel on a daily basis. And you know, the Queen's always a big deal too, so I know we'll be talking about that, but you know, Chicago is a parade city, and this is the one that kind of kicks us off for the rest of the year. Uh, a lot of things were put on hold because of the pandemic. Um, what kind of crowds are you expecting this year, and what advice do you have for people? Oh, you, we are expecting a huge crowd and we are the largest community based parade outside of Ireland. So we are really expecting a lot of people because it's become the de facto family reunion for many, <laughs> many people and not only South Side, but Chicago. It's been around since 1979. Talk about the impact it's had on the community and and how it has evolved and changed over the it, years. Oh, gosh, you know, it started in 79 with 17 neighborhood children just marching around their block. And now it has morphed into over 100 parade entry units, I believe over a thousand participants. And um, we're expecting maybe like 200,000 people to attend. Wow. We have marching bands. We have um, a lot of awesome sponsors as well. Duncan and uh, NASCAR are big sponsors this year. So we're hoping for a flashy car or two. <laughs> <laughs> Let me circle back around. When I was asking about the Grand Marshal, I, I was asking what does the Grand Marshal role? What do they do? They lead, they kick off the parade and they bring awareness to what they do for our community. Um, I'm very focused, as is everybody, on the mental health of our first responders. And it's been so much in the news these past few years. I believe COVID has really made it even worse. It's a different world that we live in now. And I think that the job that these, uh, these pastors, do, these ministers do is so very vital to our okay. community. We have to ask you, so, okay, remind everybody when, where the parade is and what's the best spot to see it? <laughs> Well, the parade is um, 103rd and Western to 115th and Western, so it's a mile and a half long. Um, there's two sides of the, the parade, and families usually stay on the east side, and uh, if you want a pint, you go on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. And just asking for the kids watching, there will be candy thrown at them, right? Or towards them, well, not at them. <laughs> And that's a safety concern, but, you uh, know, we turn okay. a blind eye, so, right. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Had to ask. Had to get that in there. Marianne, thank you. Uh, best of luck with everything with the, the parade.